Right now, I'm on Kelly and CS's second grade Moodle page. They're Meadowbrook second grade teachers. And I ran into Ann Kelly this year, and she was having some challenges from parents who felt like the spelling homework for their second graders were not challenging those students enough. So she really wanted to brainstorm um, a way to rethink a uh, homework presentation or an option for those particular students. So um, what she did, and I'm going to show you on her Moodle page, is she created a, an assignment that she describes here. And in the assignment, she has an opportunity for the students to click to link to a template in Hopkins Apps or in Google. And when they do, it brings them to the template gallery. And in, if you've created a template in Apps and you say use uh, the students would, or if you link to it, then if a student or any other apps user clicks on use this template, then it's like making a fresh copy of that document that you've created in Docs. And um, so it's kind of like the digital equivalent to a copy machine. So what the students would do is click use this template they would complete the alternative assignment that is a little more open-ended and requires some more creativity than the spelling packets. And then they would share this document with their teacher. So it would be a digital submission of an alternative spelling assignment that provided a little more challenge for those students. So um, that's an interesting idea, not just for students um, that need more challenge, but also in some situations you may want to provide an opportunity like this for all students, um, either for something they would do in class or possibly something that they would do outside of class. So I want to show you how she went about doing that. I'm going to close this tab, and, which is um, because I have my other tab open with my Google Documents. So I made a copy of this, so I own this copy, and I want to show you how you would submit a Google Doc to the template gallery and then link to it from Moodle. So um, if you have a document, in this case I will open it so that you can see it. This is an, um, a worksheet that somebody could fill out where they take each of the um, spelling words for the week, they put them in an ABC order and then write down an antonym and a synonym, synonym, synonym for each of those words. So that is the basic idea. And if I wanted to put that in the template gallery, I would put a check mark in front of that document in my list of apps. And assuming that I'm the owner of the document, this only appears if you're the owner, you would choose Submit to Template Gallery. And um, you could enter a description for the document. All right. And the categories, unfortunately, don't make sense. We need to actually change those at some time. So uh, pick one randomly because you do have to pick one. And then you choose Submit a Template. All right. Um, that takes a little while to show up in the template gallery, but it will eventually. And once it does, then um, you can get the link to it. So I'm going to pause my video now until this shows up in the template gallery. Um, it varies in time, but I would say just a couple minutes to 20 minutes. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I actually got tired of waiting. It's only been a couple minutes, um, and it's not going to take forever. It does show up in the gallery eventually. But I figured I have another document in here that I can show you that is just as worthy. So. I'm in my template gallery here, and I um, would go down to the template. So here's another example of one that would work for this is a book report. And if I, as the teacher, instead of saying use this template, because that'll just create a fresh copy of it, if I click preview, it opens this page, and then this right up here is going to be the link to this template that I'm going to create this link from Moodle. So if you do that, then student then gets to the link and says use this template. They get a fresh copy. They can rename it by putting their last name in front of the title. So if your last name was Johnson, you could call it Johnson Book Report if you're the student. And then you share it with your teacher in apps. 
So let's do this. I'm going to open a new tab, and I think I could probably very, very quickly get to um, Ann Kelly's page, and I could mock it up and show you there. So first, of course, I'm going to turn editing on, and I'll go down to uh, the homework alternatives. And in this case, I can add an activity and choose assignment. And in the, what I could, I'm going to choose offline activity because I'm not actually submitting this in Moodle. I am going, as a student, I'm asking them to submit it using Google Apps. And so as long as it's not Moodle, I don't have to choose one of the top three. So I'm going to say offline activity. And I'm going to say book report. And I could put a, a description there that says something like um, click here and and click on use this template to get your own fresh copy of the book report. Now you could say a whole lot more here. Uh, for example, you could talk about how, um, how the student should name it by putting their last name in front of the title of the document and then sharing it with their teacher, etc. But that's all I'm going to do now. So I'm going to double click on the text here that says here, and I want to make hot link to that. So I click on my chain link, and I'm going to paste in the link to the template. Uh-oh, I didn't get it. I must not have correctly copied it. Let's go back there and try again. Command C to copy that address. Command V to paste it. I always, always, always open my links in new windows, which opens them in new tabs. And I'm going to say insert, and that makes it a hot link. Perhaps I will put, I don't usually um, ever put an available date, but I would, I would potentially put a due date if I'm using the Moodle calendar. Um, or if you just wanted that to show up. I'll just leave that there so you could see what that's like. If you want to give feedback, to the student on quality within Moodle, you could um, put a grading scale in there, or you could just say no grade. Um, it's up to you. And then I just go down and I say save and return to course. So how this looks to students, if I go and I am going to switch to my student role so you can see what this looks like on this really nice Moodle page. So I go down there, if I were a student clicking on the book report, it presents me with the description of the assignment and the due date. That would be if you'd want a due date on there, you don't have to. And then if I click here, it should open a new tab with the template. And if I choose use this template, it's like making a fresh copy of it for me. As the student, I would go in here and I'm going to pretend my last name is Johnson. And I would say Johnson Book Report. You could give them other directions for how to customize the title of the document, but I've done that now. And then the student would also share it with their teacher. So if they click on the Share button, I should be able to um, start typing in Ann Kelly's name. The more characters I put in, the more I'll filter into the directory right to her. And I can click here. And um, if you're the teacher, you may or may not want emails notifying you when these come in. Um, direct your students to deselect this if you don't want the email. Um, but otherwise, the default is that you will get the email. I am actually not going to complete this because I don't want Ann Kelly to get an email right now because she'd be confused because I didn't tell her I was doing this. So um, that is an alternative way to present an assignment linking from Moodle to a template in Hopkins Apps. And I think the more access we have to digital devices, the more likely students will be completing their homework in some of these more digital ways.